I'm going to try out today the Kelly Kettle. I've never used this before, so I figured why not just see how easy it is to start a fire and heat up some water. This is the uh, Trekker model. Holds about two mugs of water. I found some small kindling that I gathered. I'm not using any kind of uh, lighter fluid or newspaper or anything like that to start my fire. This is a big mug, but it's equivalent to about two normal cups of coffee or water. I'm up in um, what we call Buffalo Trail around here. It's in central Colorado. Down below me is Plum Creek, which is the last place that Kit Carson camped on his way back home to Santa Fe before he passed away. So this is, there it goes. Wow, flames coming out of the top of this would be a neat little thing for camping with the family. It can be educational as well, talking about heating and chimney functions and how heat right raises to the raise rises up I also thought this would be a pretty interesting tool for uh, third world countries where they can heat and purify water efficiently much efficiently than they normally where water where clean clean waters at a premium Here's a way people could very effectively heat water, cook food, purify water uh, without using up a whole lot of natural resources in places where there's not things like camping fuel and diesel gasoline for the poor man. The package doesn't weigh, package doesn't weigh very much. Let's see, I brought my backpack, rice noodles, which I could easily, you know, rehydrate my cup for camping. But, uh, I'll have some hot chocolate. Plenty hot. Huh? Yeah, it didn't use very much fuel at all. So so hot I'm holding onto the chain and the handle so don't burn myself. But it usually 